Yeah, praise the Lord. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, this is Brother Caleb. Um, just 45 minutes outside of downtown Denver in the countryside on the eastern plains of Colorado. Um, this this video has been, um, you know, long in the making. I, I knew eventually the Lord would have me uh, make this video. I was just waiting for His perfect timing um, to make it. Um, and so he really pressed it on my heart to, to do this and um, to just uh, put a face to the new voice on the channel that, that um, you guys can hear what, what God has done in my life and, 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 and how he saved me and brought me into street ministry. And um, yeah, praise the Lord. Uh, my name is Caleb. I grew up in Minnesota and um, I grew up there my whole life, lived there my whole life. My first everything was there. And I grew up in the church. I grew up going to church as a little kid. And I always believed in God. I always believed that the Bible was the inspired Word of God. That this is our instruction book. But I never had a saving relationship with Him. I never knew Him. Uh, I professed to know God, as the Bible says, but in works I denied Him. Being abominable, disobedient unto every good work reprobate. Um, I was the man, I was the people in Matthew 7 who said, Lord, uh, have we not done all these things? And he would say, depart from me, I never knew you, you that work iniquity. And I, uh, that was me. So I was blinded, Satan blinded my eyes. And I, 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 I professed Christ all my life. <clears throat> and there came a time, uh, but I was never in the Word. I never had a desire to read the Word, never had a desire to go to church. I didn't like worship music. I didn't like, you know, the things of God, but yet I thought I was a Christian. I thought I was saved. And, um, but I, I, I could hardly tell you any Bible verses. And a time came in my life um, around high school. Um, I started getting into the party life and, and, and um, you know, just living that lifestyle. Um, hanging out with friends and and, and, and smoking weed, uh, getting drunk, and living all sorts of sin. And, you know, all throughout this time, I, I believe I'm a Christian. I believe I'm, bo I'm born again, even though at that time I don't even know what born again means. I just know I'm on my way to heaven. <laughs> That's what I believe, um, at least. And um, so I just go all throughout high school, just, you know, parting it up. You know, just doing as my flesh wills, and and all this time I'm, I'm professing God, I'm professing Christ, but my heart was far from Him. And it's just crazy how blinded we can be, and so ignorant um, of the reality. You know that um, I was actually lost and on my way to destruction. And um, once I freshly got out of high school. Um, I started, you know, um, I started hanging out with somebody and, and, um, he was, he, he was addicted to heroin and, and, and I, um, just, there came a time, um, where his, uh, you know, he just became so addicted to heroin. And this is when God really started to pull my heart. I'm 19 years old at the time. Um. I, um, he just one day said, even God can't stop me from doing heroin. And here I am lost at the time. I don't know God, but I'm stunned by this, by this statement he made. And I don't know if God was speaking a word through me to him at that time, even though I'm lost and not born again, but I'm still God's, you know, I, I'm still his son that, that, that will come into the kingdom very shortly thereafter but he um he said even god can't stop me from doing heroin and i was baffled by such a statement and these words came out of my mouth i said wow man you're gonna end up like the titanic where they said even god can't sink this ship and look what happened a couple days later some odd days later they found him dead um, from a heroin overdose and uh, this is when God just really just shook my world, shook my foundation. It's not like we were close or anything, but, you know, 
when you when somebody you know dies that you talk to frequently that you just saw them and now they're dead it, it really puts things into perspective and, and, and you're just you, death is a very um, it's a crazy thing it, it, it's just you could be talking to someone one day and then the next day they're gone they're dead and it, it, it's just this is when God really shook my world he shook my foundation my party lifestyle drinking, uh, just parting it up. Um, this is when God just made those things, just like he, he, he just shook my world. It was no longer um, fun. Um, something crazy just happened. My friend just died from heroin, and, and, and I'm just hit with a dose of reality. What am I doing with my life? And this is when, you know, here I was, I was just, you know, having a great time. And all of a sudden this happens. And now um, I just got this cloud over me that it just ruined the fun. <clears throat> I didn't become born again yet. But for about the next month and a half, God would really start drawing my heart. And um, eventually um, I'm just living my life. I'm continuing to just... Um, do what I do, do what lost sinners do. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life, pursuing this life, its lust, its desires. And I started just having this pull, this nudge in my spirit, in my inner man, in my heart that I've never had before. You know, I used to cuss uh, casually, I, I just, 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 just cussing perverse things coming out of my mouth, just all sorts of evil. All of a sudden, I started just having conviction flood my life. And, you know, the Bible says there's none that seek after God. You know, and um, I'm not seeking for God. I'm living it up. I'm doing what lost people do. Um, I'm loving my sin. I'm loving my darkness. But here comes a work of God's Spirit that I did not ask for. I was not seeking for him. I was not looking for him. And he came after me with such floods of conviction in my life that I noticed that I could no longer cuss without heavy conviction. I could no longer do the things I was doing without heavy conviction and godly sorrow. And at the time, I don't understand what's going on, but all my life you know I loved my sin and all of a sudden I start having a desire to read the word something that was never with me all my life maybe I cracked open the Bible here and there as a kid growing up but the Bible was a book that just collected dust and you know it, it was no interest to me and but all of a sudden I started having this pull, this nudge to read the word. And I came across Matthew 7. I've never read this passage all my years of living at this point. And it says, Jesus, in his own words, Matthew 7, he says, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall inherit the kingdom of heaven, but only he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? Have we not cast out devils in your name? Have we not done many wonderful works in your name? And he says, I will profess unto them, depart from me. I never knew you, you that work iniquity. And I knew I was that man. I knew I was that man. I saw these people professing all these things they've done and they're not getting in. They're not getting into the kingdom. What's going to happen to me? Living in lawlessness, iniquity, all sorts of immorality. What's going to be the end of me? What is Christ going to say to me? In the very first time in my life, the fear of God entered into my soul. A fear I've never had before. And the Bible says that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom that by mercy and truth iniquity is purged, and by the fear of the Lord men depart from evil. <clears throat> and so 
the fear of God entered into my heart for the first time in my life, I feared God. For all my life, there was no fear of God before my eyes. No fear of judgment, no fear of justice being poured out upon me for my sin, my iniquity, because I believed I was a Christian. I believed I was on my way to heaven, although my life showed no fruit of God, no fruit of the Spirit, no love for God, His kingdom, His righteousness, His holiness. I had no love for these things. Yet I was the man at, at a high school party preaching Christ to people. <laughs> what a contradiction. As the Bible says, they profess to know God, but in their works they deny Him. Jesus says, these people honor me with their mouth, but their hearts are far from me. That was me. I knew nothing of God. No experience of God, no love for God, no love for holiness, no separation from the world. I was a friend of the world, making me an enemy of God by nature. And for the first time in my life, the fear of God entered my soul. I had heavy conviction and sorrow over my sin. And I began to just seek God. And I became born again. I became born again. I passed from darkness to light. I cried out to God. I confessed everything I have ever done that I could think of. I cried out to God, forgive me, Father. Forgive me for all the evil I have done. Just in a, 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 just a, a place of contriteness, just humbleness, brokenness before God over my sin, my life of rebellion and anarchy against Him. And I cried out to God. <clears throat> And for the very first time in my life, my aching heart that wanted peace, wanted joy, wanted fulfillment, wanted purpose, all of a sudden the life of God invaded my soul like never before. And I experienced the presence of God for the first time in my life. And it was a presence that it was just so just beforehand, there was just an, an, empty, an empty, aching abyss, just emptiness within. Just me, just my soul, my empty soul within, full of nothing, rottenness, dead men's bones, just, 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 uh, just an echo of emptiness. And all of a sudden, there was a presence there. The Bible says we are a habitation of God through the Spirit that his spirit now dwells in us. He says, I will live in them and walk in them and I will be their God and they shall be my people. And so now it wasn't just me. God was now living in me, his presence, his communion with me. And I knew I was saved and I knew I was born again and I knew I had eternal life. And I began to grow and be sanctified and conform to the image of Christ. And now I have been a Christian for about a decade, 10 years, 10 years I have been in Christ. And what a journey it has been as I have grown, um, you know, in the Lord. And, and, and um, you know, I remember when I first became a Christian, <clears throat> um, I remember laughing. And, 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 and for the first time in my life, it was like a genuine laugh. It, it was pure. It, it, it was like, it, it, you know, just life was completely different. I passed from darkness to light. God had, had brought me from the power of the devil unto the power of God. And I, you know, Jesus says, my sheep hear my voice. And I know them and they follow me and I give unto them eternal life. And, and, and all this flooding of conviction and the fear of God entering into my heart, my soul, I, you know, the wind blows where it list is, and you hear the sound thereof, but cannot tell whether it comes or whether it goes. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. Man, just the work of God in the heart of man. You, you can't put this miracle, you can't put this life of transformation into words. That the world looks at it, oh, you just changed your life around. You, you, you started doing better things for yourself. No. I have been born again. I was raised from the dead. I was the people in the book of Ezekiel, the valley of dry bones, just, just a valley of bones, a valley of death. 
and was raised again unto newness of life. You can't put this experience into words. And if you're born again, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And nobody else will understand until they're born again. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. What a glorious work of the King of Kings in the hearts of men. You know, and as I just, you know, um, after I got born again, um, I got into a fellowship and, and, and just started learning and, and just started growing and just diving into the word. And, and, and I experienced Christian fellowship for the first time in my life and, and, and met brothers in Christ that had the same experience as me, you know, because when I became born again, I mean, I just, you know, where are the other brethren? Where, where, where are the other ones that have had this experience? Um, and, 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 and I found them and, 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 and they were saying the same things I was saying that, 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 that they became born again and, 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 and all these things that the experience is just like wow this is incredible this is amazing God's people <clears throat> and uh, the way is narrow you better believe it and there are few that are truly born again few that are saved even within the church house today and 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 when I found other brothers, I, I, what, what, a, what a connection God brought. What a, what a glory. Uh, it just um, as you connect with other believers through the Spirit of God. And uh, I just began to grow and, and, and learn my identity in Christ, who I am, the doctrines of grace, um, sovereign election. Um, these became the most glorious truths to me. And... Um, I, would, I think it was about two years after my conversion, maybe maybe a year later. So about eight years ago, um, I started going out on the streets. And um, when I became born again, I had this desire within to evangelize. And I didn't realize at the time that was God, that that, that, that was um, what God has called me to do. Um, I just had this, this desire to go tell uh, to, 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 to just preach Christ to others. But um, it was not matured yet. It, it hadn't come to fruition yet. Um, it was just in, in the planting stage, you know. And But there came a time where, you know, um, I cried out for the first time with my voice, my bare voice. And uh, let me tell you, when you are doing what God has called you to do, there's just an alignment within your spirit, your every fiber of your being, everything aligns. And you're just like, this is it. This is how I'm called to serve God. This is what I am called to do for him. And um, it was an, it was the most glorious experience I've never had before. And um, that was eight years ago. And um, God brought me into this ministry, a most precious ministry filled with incredible brothers and sisters in Christ just a connection God has, has brought. and um, But God brought me into this ministry about th almost three years ago, this October. And, um, you know, um, you know, I, I, I started making videos on my own and, and, and posting on a separate YouTube channel account. And God was just giving me wisdom, you know, on how to make the videos. And um, um, so uh, by the time... Um, I started posting on this channel. Um, I already knew how to how to make the videos, so uh, just to put more content up there and, and and on the channel to show what God is doing, to edify the body of Christ, you know. Um, and um, so, all the videos you see from from you know Colorado and 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 the surrounding areas, you know, we're just we're just uh, posting it, um, and, and and God is just showcasing His work and and. Uh, May he be glorified. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned, but I'm, I'm, I'm originally from Minnesota. Uh, I grew up there in the, yeah, I think I did mention that. And I moved to Denver, Colorado um, about almost four years ago, this July. And, um, you know, God is doing a work out here. I came out here and there was no laborers. There's nobody at the Denver Bronco games. There's nobody at the Colorado Rockies games. There's nobody at the Colorado Avalanche, Denver Nuggets games, the concerts, all these venues. So God brought me out here 
to preach Christ, to preach his word where there was no preacher. So God is doing a work. God is doing uh, an incredible work out here. And uh, may he be glorified in it. Save his, his lost elect sheep. Bring them into Christ. Bring them into the fold. And, um, but, uh, yeah, praise the Lord. Um, so, yeah, praise the Lord. I just wanted to um, give an introductory, um, you know, to just um, introduce myself and and um, to share my testimony, what God has done in my life and and uh, how he brought me into street ministry. And, and um, yeah, praise the Lord for the work he's doing in America and abroad. Uh, there's many faithful brethren, praise God, many faithful brethren preaching the word in America um, as a stiff neck country as it is God still is having his word go forth and it's hardening most and saving some but uh, yeah praise God um, we just pray that 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 uh, you know the only reason we post these videos is 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 to glorify God and edify the body of Christ and um, you know we see all your comments I know we, we don't respond to a lot of them uh, but we see them um, so uh, but uh, we're just glad that 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 God is 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 doing a work you know through this that, that that's the main thing here that God would use this for his kingdom his glory his purposes that if God didn't want us doing this we wouldn't record I mean this is I mean you forget you even have a camera out there I mean really you just you're just going out there preaching Christ and doing God's work and it just so happens God wants it posted uh, to showcase his work to edify the body of Christ so we pray it encourages you and and and, and um, um, we love you all who are in Christ we love you brothers and sisters in Christ knowing the King eternal immortal invisible the only wise God be honor and glory forever and ever amen we love you father God